Hello, 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 ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another episode of Rise of <laughs> Rise of Empires, Ice and Fire. I am Mr. Gill. Thank you so much for joining me and thank you so much for all of your previous likes, views, subscriptions, comments and all of that jazz. I really, really appreciate it. Um, today we're continuing our series of just talking about individual buildings and today we're going to talk about the encampment. Um, the encampment is something you get from uh, straight at the start, I'm pretty sure. You get one or two at least at uh, somewhere in between level one and four uh, you're going to start getting encampments now what encampments do is they add to the amount of troops you can train and they add to the speed at which those troops are trained however um, it still will take you a long time to train troops uh, currently I have one two three four five six seven eight nine encampments which is the max amount of encampments available let us double check that and make sure go into military uh, should be here yeah. encampments nine of nine this is the building construction number has reached its cap so those are the only encampments that I will ever receive so I have them all at roughly about let's zoom in uh, they are all level 19. Ah, oh, this one's level 20. Okay, so they are all level 19. Now, the reason they are not higher uh, than that is that I find them pretty expensive. Let's have a quick look in here to upgrade. Yeah, I mean, that's not too bad, but I need this marble now because I'm hoping to get to castle level 23. So I'm not going to upgrade these for a little while. What they effectively do is increase the amount of troops that I can train. So let's start training something here and see how many we get. Okay, so I can train 3,500 falconers and it's going to take me nine hours. We're going to do that anyway. And how many footmen can I train? 3,500 as well, and that's also going to take me nine hours, the same amount of time. Now, these are tier seven troops, so that'll be different depending on the tier you have. Um, it'll also be different depending on uh, certain researchers. Okay, so not only the encampments, but other, obviously in the research as well, there are researchers which can speed up and slow down especially in the cavalry training um, within the legions and also i think in zone commemoration zone conflict basic military and basic combat all have researchers which speed up or increase the amount of troops that you can train however the encampments are the main area for that to happen now if we have a quick look at them in the details they offer quite a lot of power so they are something interesting to upgrade especially if you're looking at doing a um, getting a lot of points on a Tuesday for upgrade building day. Now, if I upgraded this to 20, I'm going to get 800 power. Now, usually on an upgrade building day, uh, buildings are worth a thousand points for every power. So that would be uh, 1,000, or what would that be? 800 times a thousand. Uh, so nearly a million points uh, for upgrading one of these. And how long would it take? One day and seven hours to go from level 19 to 20, which is not too bad. Um, it is a building upgrade day tomorrow for me. Hmm, I might consider upgrading one of these. Um, I might, I might, I might. <clears throat> but let's look at uh, what you should be doing depending on your kind of level. I would say that up until about castle level uh, 10, you don't need to stress too much about them. Keep them at a, you know, a medium to nice level. After that, I would start to make sure that they are upgraded and kept within the castle level itself. And I would do that at least until castle level 19. And then after that, I think you can chill for a little bit. So by that, I mean, if you are castle level 12, you should probably bring your encampments up to castle level 12 as well. It's just gonna increase the amount of troops you're constantly training. And what you do wanna be doing in those early times is building up a little bit of power and having the capacity to train as many troops as possible when needed. Remember that training troops is obviously one of the Clash of Province days, uh, Fridays. And so training lots of troops on those days and the more you can train is gonna get you um, points quicker and easier. What do we got here? I'll take that, thank you very much. Um, now, the encampments, like the medical tents and like the mint, do not need to be attached. Um, I keep one attached always, and I keep one attached of everything always, as that means that you know I can keep on seeing them and see how they work. Um, but they do not need to be attached, and they will save you um, amounts of coal. Let's have a look in here. So we're at 262. By moving this closer, we should be able to see how much coal we save. 262.8. So each one at my level, and my level is... Uh, tavern level 22 um, is going to be saving me 0.8 which is not too bad so over those nine I'm going to be getting uh, at least 5,000 uh, what's it called it 5,000 uh, 
charcoal saved a day. Uh, let's pop in here, grab our daily supply. And this is the first time I've logged in this morning, so just running around. But anyway, back to the encampments. Um, as soon as you can get the nine, make sure you get the nine. I believe the encampments can be based on population. So what I mean by that is um, there are certain things, medical tents, houses, uh, some of the mints, some of the encampments that m you have to have max population for. So we've talked before about how I starve my tavern, how I always have a lower level of population than is actually needed or required by the game um, and that is fine until sometimes you actually need the population uh, and that will be when you maybe go up each level i would suggest that you fill your tavern up a little bit and see if any new building pops up in there it will not pop up in the build menu unless you actually have hit the population required to build that building anyway that's a little bit about, about the encampments i hope you enjoyed that and i'll catch you again soon cheers bye